Jish is the debut album by American alternative rock band The Smashing Pumpkins, released in May 1991 through Caroline Records. Frontman Billy Corgan described Jish as a very spiritual album. Despite initially peaking at only number 195 on the Billboard 200 upon its release, Jish was eventually certified platinum by the RIAA. Recording, Jish was recorded from December 1990 to March 1991 in Butch Vig's Smart Studios in Madison, Wisconsin with a budget of $20,000. Vig and Billy Corgan worked together as co-producers. The longer recording period and larger budget were unprecedented for Vig, who later remembered. Corgan, wanted to make everything sound amazing and see how far he could take it. Really spend time on the production and the performances. For me that was a godsend because I was used to doing records for all the indie labels and we only had budgets for three or four days. Having that luxury to spend hours on a guitar tone or tuning the drums or working on harmonies and textural things. I was over the moon to think I had found a comrade in arms who wanted to push me, and who really wanted me to push him. The inclusion of a massive production style reminiscent of ELO and Queen was unusual for an independent band at the time. Whereas many albums at the time used drum sampling and processing, Jish used unprocessed drum recordings, and an exacting, unique guitar sound. Billy Corgan also performed nearly all of the guitar and bass parts on the record, which was confirmed by Vig in a later interview. The album's sessions, lasting 30 working days, were brisk by pumpkin standards, largely because of the group's inexperience. The recording sessions put an intense strain on the band, with bassist Dersi Ritzky later commenting that she did not know how the band survived it, and Corgan explaining he suffered a nervous breakdown. The album, regarding the album's thematic content, Corgan would later say, The album is about pain and spiritual ascension. People ask if it's a political album. It's not a political album, it's a personal album. In a weird kind of way, Jish is almost like an instrumental album a Euro it just happens to have singing on it, but the music overpowers the band in a lot of places. I was trying to say a lot of things I couldn't really say in kind of intangible, unspeakable ways, so I was capable of doing that with the music, but I don't think I was capable of doing it with words. I Am One, Rhinoceros, Daydream, and Bury Me were previously recorded as demos by the band in 1989. All four songs were re-recorded for Jish. The following songs were written and recorded for Jish but did not make the final cut, Blue, Obscured, Slunk, Why Am I So Tired, Jesus Loves His Babies, La Dolly Vita, Paul Sesha, Smiley, Crawl, Persnickety. Equals title equals, the album was named after silent film icon Lillian Jish. In an interview, Corgan said, my grandmother used to tell me that one of the biggest things that ever happened was when Lillian Jish rode through town on a train, my grandmother lived in the middle of nowhere, so that was a big deal. Later, Corgan joked that the album was originally going to be called Fish, but was changed to Jish to avoid comparisons to jam band Fish. Reception Equals commercial performance equals, Jish spent one week on the Billboard 200, peaking at number 195. However, the album reached number one on the College Music Journal chart, which tracks airplay and popularity on college radio stations. It also had a six-week run on the New Zealand Albums chart, peaking at number 40. Despite an inauspicious start, the album sold 100,000 copies in less than a year, far exceeding the expectations of indie label Caroline Records, a subsidiary of Virgin Records. The album was certified gold on March 14, 1994. Until the release of the Offspring album Smash in 1994, Jish was the highest-selling independently released album of all time. Jish would later be reissued under the Virgin label, and was certified platinum on February 5, 1999. Equals critical response equals, Jish was met with largely enthusiastic reviews. On the month of its release, Chris Heem of the Chicago Tribune credited producer Butch Vig for helping the band achieve a clearly defined, and big, bold, punchy sound for the album. Heem also indicated that the varied styles of the album would be a good addition to the alternative music culture of Chicago at the Tamiya Euro a culture that was sometimes perceived as inaccessible for new bands. 
John Parrells of the New York Times picked up on the eclectic mix of musical style on Jish as well, complementing its pummeling hard rock, gentle interludes, and psychedelic crescendos. In an end-of-year recap of 1991 releases, he noted that the album constituted a smashing local success story for the Chicago area. Greg Cott, also of the Tribune, called Jish perhaps the most audacious and accomplished of all 1991 albums released by local bands. In an article later that year, Cott listed the album among the best of 1991. Rolling Stone called it awe-inspiring with meticulously calculated chaos, and a swirling energy. Many substantive reviews of Jish emerged only with the 1993 release of Siamese Dream, when mainstream critics took their first look into the back catalogue of a band whose popularity was exploding. Derek Vilo of the Toronto Star noted that songs on Jish contained either galloping riffs or trippy feedback hazes, and that the latter were especially effective and entertaining. In 1992, Jish and the Smashing Pumpkins earned recognition at the Chicago Musician Awards, for which local music publication Illinois Entertainer polled readers and Chicago music industry figures such as critics, writers, and club owners. In separate polls, readers and industry figures chose Jish as the best local album. Jimmy Chamberlain and James Eo won individual honors for their performances on the album, and the band as a whole earned the Best Hometown National Act Award. Release History The first mastering of Jish on CD was from digital audio tape and appeared on Caroline Records, a subsidiary of Virgin Records. In 1994, after the success of follow-up Siamese Dream, the album was given a slight remaster and redesign and was reissued on the Virgin label. Both editions credit Howie Weinberg as mastering engineer. In 2008, the Smashing Pumpkins announced a 17th anniversary box set re-release of the album that would include older bonus material, but this set experienced delays. After finally negotiating the rights, Jish was reissued in November 2011, being remastered on CD and vinyl with extra tracks and packaging. Track listing, all songs written and composed by Billy Corgan, except where noted. Personnel, those involved in the making of Jish are, The Smashing Pumpkins, Jimmy Chamberlain a Euro drums, Billy Corgan a Euro vocals, guitar, bass, production, James E. a Euro guitar, vocals, Darcy Ritzky a Euro bass, vocals, lead vocals on Daydream, layouts, additional musicians, Mary Gaines a Euro cello on Daydream, Chris Wagner a Euro violin and viola on Daydream. Production, Bob Knapp a Euro Photography, Michael Levine a Euro Photography, Butch Vig a Euro Production, Engineering, Doug Mr. Colson Olson a Euro Engineering, Howie Weinberg a Euro Mastering, Bob Ludwig a Euro Mastering. Chart Positions References External Links, Jish at All Music, Jish at Music Brian's